All right, I'm just pressing record here. We're just we're just going. We're just going because I've gotten some uh, some helpful framing uh, from the talent here. Spark the genius here with the cast and director of Death of a Whistleblower. There's a lot of people here. Uh, who's the most important person so I can ignore everybody else? Uh, uh, yeah. All right. We got yeah. We got a lot of fingers there. That's all right. I did watch your uh, your Netflix hot minute a moment ago, so 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 I, so I, so I know all about you. Uh, you're a morning person. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Is anyone else here a morning person? You're all like, oh god. What? Okay, all right. This is like not this girl. All right. So does everyone want to introduce themselves here? All right. Here, this is. Oh. Okay. Cool. Hi, my name is Tandiwe Horoche. I play the character of Tulieza. Okay. Anthony Osemi, I play the character of Mahali Lebak. Uh-huh. I'm Nokolo Jamini, and I play Luanda Masinda. Uh, got I'm Ian Gabriel, and I'm the director. The legendary Ian. <laughs> I'm Inez Robertson, and I play Emma Lowe. Okay. I'm Kathleen Stevens, and I play Asta Patel. All right. And, uh, you know, sometimes I like to joke around and stuff, but, you know, I was watching the trailer. It looks, uh, it looks very serious. It looks like this is not a jokey movie. So do we have to be, like, all serious and profound here? Or? No, not at all. No, no. I think the characters... We're take a couple of drugs. The yeah. characters, yeah, yeah. The characters really do lighten it up. Oh, really? Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked just sure. There was a lot of swearing and violence, and I'm swearing? like... Swearing? What is yeah. swearing? Yeah. <laughs> it's some serious stuff, yeah. so we yeah. need a little bit of swearing. Oh yeah, just, just sort of serious this is. <laughs> blow off the steam. Yeah. So is this like a? It's like obviously a thriller. It's exciting and everything, but is it also like? Is there an important message or something? Or for sure, Ian. Well, it's uh, we put the tr- the story together from a lot of true facts. Yeah. Um, that have happened in South Africa. We do have a whistleblower crisis, and that's um, quite a large number of whistleblowers over the past. 15 or 20 years have been assassinated. Uh oh. Um, so that's pretty serious. Um, and we've taken that, that thread of truth and some threads of truth about what happened during the time of the Truth Commission um, mm. when we had a, a chemical warfare program that was closed down, but um, not very thoroughly. Uh, well. and, and we look at, we look at a, a possible scenario that evolved out of that. Good Lord. Sounds like South Africa's kind of got lots of good material for thrillers or whatever. There's lots, lots going on there. Yeah, there's a lot going on, and it's great to be able to tell the stories and yeah. tell um, true or very close to the true stories that really re- resonate with people and people will understand and appreciate. That's that's great. Uh, and what was th- what was this chemical warfare thing like? What who are they chemically warfaring? The people. Well, in the um, in the eighties, there was a, a program called Project Coast which was financed by the South African government. And it was a, um, a chemical warfare program that was designed, that was planned to be, uh, to deal with uh, biological and chemical warfare. Uh, it was planned to um, target um, genetic differences and um, uh, differences of race uh, as part of the program. Um, and uh, fortunately the program didn't evolve very far. Yeah. before it was stopped. Um, but it what, was a, a diabolical program. Yeah, it all sounds like a weird James Bond villain-like yeah. thing. Like, what is going on over there? Jan, yeah. Bad time James Bond, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We're just trashing the hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Sorry, I just wanted some attention. No, that's all right. It's like, talk to me! <laughs> talk to me! <laughs> talk to me. Uh, yeah. So, like, are you guys all famous in South Africa? <laughs> Super famous. <laughs> I don't know. You've got, uh, yeah. you're like musical theater person or something. It, it, that's where it all began. Yeah. That's where it all began. And uh, then I became the dancer. Then everyone knew me as a dancer. And now people know me as a girl who's always kicking butt. Yeah. And now I'm a journalist. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So I evolve yes. every once yeah. in a while. <laughs> I just redefine myself. How do you go from like musical theater to like, you know, action thriller person kind of thing? You know what? I think musical theater also started very weird. I was just... I was just doing drama and I just loved dancing and singing and yeah. I kind of just fell into musical theater and yeah. I was like, oh, I think I'm good at this. I think I really like it, you know? Uh, 
But that happened for like what? While I was doing theater, which was like five years of my life. Yeah. And then eventually I was just like, all right, cut it. Done with all this happy go lucky yeah. girl. I want some serious material now. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, then I eventually just decided that I want to do some film and television. And um, I think everything I kind of do requires a lot of. Uh, athleticism yeah. I realize and I think that that goes back to my musical theater days yeah I guess we've already got the dance training okay yeah. now you can do your own stunts yeah. and you're running around and everything yeah, yeah might as well if yeah. the skill is there the strength is there the love is there so you don't sing in the movie though you, didn't, you get to use that not yet but I did sing a lot on set hoping that they would you know <laughs> Kind of know that. Oh, Knox! Yeah. For all, I'm just like, in. I don't know if you knew this, but I am a singer too. You know, in case you had some musicals coming along. <laughs> the movie needs a, you know, a soundtrack with yeah. this. I could sing. Yeah. I'm the journalist. I'm yeah. hunting the death of the whistleblower, whatever I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm a singer too. I didn't even realize. Wow. Well, we, we could do a duet. Yeah. Very Lit. exciting. All right, Death of a Whistleblower 2. <laughs> yeah. uh, the musical. The musical. The musical. Why not? Yeah. Take it to Broadway. Wow, I, 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 I like it. Thank you so much. It's not bad. Yeah. Tackling right. serious situations in a very imagine? light way. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. people don't, you know, they, oh, I don't want to get depressed. So you, like, lure them in. Oh, there's going to be singing. It's like, oh, my God, I learned an important message. Yeah. Yo, you tricked me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I take things more seriously and I try to create better habits in yeah. my life. Uh, so yeah, I think it, it really is good for You're it. my new life coach. Because la- <laughs> yesterday I sat in the industry center, eight o'clock it closed. I'm like, oh, I'll go to a and And I had nine burgers, like three triple burgers. I'm, I'm going to be keto. They're wrapped in lettuce. But I sat there till 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> but then I got home to my apartment. I still ate bowls of Cheerios. So it cut out the keto. So now I've just eaten fat and carbs. And then I woke up this morning, oh, I can't get out of bed. And then I was late for this interview. So you're my new life coach. So I'm going to, tomorrow morning, I'm going to text you 7 a.m. Here, we're doing it. We're running. I uh, <laughs> love that. Yeah, it's exciting. So yeah, so are you guys, do you, have you worked together before or no? Or, or like, is it kind of a tight community, the South African film? Or? First yeah. time I've worked. Yes. I've worked, I worked together Kathleen. with Kathleen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I've yeah. worked together with Anthony. Yeah. yeah. So I worked with him on his very first job in South Africa. He gave him a first wow. job when I was in SA. Yeah. Oh, yeah? What did you see in him? You're like, listen, I, this guy's I trouble. I saw a very dark, intense guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very, very deep. Very handsome guy. Handsome man. I'm wearing yeah. a black handsome shirt man. with a black tie and it's nice. even darker now. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. What was that? What, what was it? What was it? It was an it's ad. Was all mutual. All mutual. Yeah, it's all yeah. mutual. With, yeah. it's what oh, was that insurance. insurance oh that's what I thought okay mm. it was a commercial for insurance yeah yeah, yeah. All right. yeah. So yeah. Like, don't you, you dare guys, <laughs> you, don't worry about dying <laughs> oh yeah yeah all right don't worry about dying or if you do die you know if you're not jogging every morning you'll die but then we'll pay you for it yeah. so don't worry about it don't yeah die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good money, good money. <laughs> That's all right. So then you pick out your people. You know you're like them. It's kind of like your theater troupe. Like yeah, you're like, yeah, all right, going to make movies again. Yeah. When you're writing parts or or whatever, you're picturing, okay, this person could play it, that person could play Not it. Not really, no. No, no. it's just whoever. Yeah. And then you still got to fight for your roles. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Mainly I pictured mm-hmm. Lupita. And yeah. I got, yeah. And I got, yeah. Yeah. He's like, is this, this what you have for me? <laughs> I guess I'll take it. <laughs> this is I'm Le- like, sorry. This, this is when you order Lapita on Wish. That's sort of the... Yeah. So what are we... What I ordered what we, I got. We get Netflix Hot Minute Girl. All right. Well, whatever. Whatever. No, you're the new Lapita. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a fresh... Friend. We're so over her. Yeah. All right. We got our five-minute warning from our publicist. That's good. So I can start... Uh, I can head to the gym in a minute. Uh Maybe or maybe A and W. The what is that? Oh, the yeah, the death of a whistleblower workout. See, look, now we're out of brand. We could have like the shirts. You that'll be your net, next yeah. Netflix reel. It's like, well, you know, death whistle workout today. You know, we do some stretches. We do my morning jog. If I don't see you vlogging from your treadmill tomorrow, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna be impressed with your social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. How do you, how do you get into be like this assassin kind of shape kind of thing? Oh, I like it. And you can tag Lapita or whatever, like, or, and be like, I don't see you in the gym this morning. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, no, I'm sure. She, uh, she does not play. No, isn't she? Uh, yeah, she's like the Black Panther, all of that too. Yeah, yeah so she's not screwing around. Yeah. All right, she's not sitting in A and W eating nine burgers at <laughs> no, night. No, not. all right. What what kind of other stuff have you guys done? We're from, I'm from a theater background. Where yeah. are you from? I'm from nowhere. Okay, I like nowhere. <laughs> no, this is like so always yeah. just going up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's nowhere to go but up. Yeah, yeah. Um, nowhere. Yeah. All right. And I was like, like, oh, nice, beautiful phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Modesty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they're like your your B girls just in the background hyping you up kind of thing. <laughs> it's like listen. Yeah, the- <laughs> we got you, <laughs> girl. Michelle and Kelly. I'm kidding. Hey. Oh, you wanna be? I go take Michelle. Yeah. I love Michelle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you like Michelle? Just does it to the kid. Michelle. <laughs> That's cool. And so this is your first time in Toronto for all of you? Mm, yep. Yes. Yes. No. You've probably been here. I've been here. Yeah. Yes. You're here every week, every year yeah. pro- promoting. Here's yeah. my movie of the year. Yeah. Every week. Just shows up. It's Ian. Yeah. I'd say it's I've Ian. lived in Edmonton before, but that's like far. What? Yeah. Why would you live in Edmonton? My dad was studying there. Oh. At the university. Is it Calgary? Well, those are two that's, different cities. Yeah. yeah. So first we were in Saskatchewan, Calgary. And then um, Alberta. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so you're familiar with winter. <laughs> Great. Oh. Yeah, Kids winter from Africa. Oh. oh, my God. Oh. Look at that. What? Oh, oh my gosh. Here. We have a giant whistleblower poster. Look at that. What is going on there? Dude. This is 
Ah, uh, wasn't there a scene in the trailer where you're like being like shout like water dosed with water like were they washing chemicals off you what was going on yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. so that so that made it into the film. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the whole trailer actually it's nothing but that that's what yeah fantastic that looks excellent guys that is yeah. looking good you guys are oh so yeah oh it's perfectly fit to be a real size, like vertical <laughs> video. Yeah. Oh my God! So that'll be at the premiere. Very exciting. It's really retro too. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. It's kind of got that feel, like a 1970s yeah. thriller, yeah. 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 but modern with the text yes. there, almost science fiction. Yes. A film by Ian Gabriel, the legendary. We've got to get him there. All right. Well, there you go. So, all right. Well, that's a, a nice way to end the interview with your new giant banner. <laughs> and uh, and we, I've got to go start writing the uh, the songs for Death of a Whistleblower, Yay, the musical. So. And, uh, and then I'll hit the gym. So we've changed my life here. And <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> all right. Bye.